Hey there, Sagittarius. Welcome to the second half of January 2024 reading for you guys. Okay, so this we're doing this one we're doing differently. And so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna shuffle these. I'm gonna get one card. And when I pull out the card, I'm gonna hold it up for you guys to see what you get off it. I want you to see what you're feeling. Use your intuition, trust your angels, trust the guides of what's coming through. And if you still get messages when I'm ready to begin, I'm going to tell you, I'm, you know, you could pause this now or, you know, continue. Then just pause it so that you can continue getting your messages. And then you could um, click on back on the video when you're ready. So let's see what we have here. Okay, so we have here cemetery, resting place, memorial stone. Okay. What does that mean to you? What's the vibe you get off this? Okay, so now if you need more time, pause it. And we'll continue here. Okay, so. Someone is might be thinking of you. Someone might be coming through from the other side. Someone that passed over. Someone that is dear to you. Someone on, that's on your mind. You've been thinking about someone lately that has passed over. They're definitely around you then. Let's see what we get as far as what they want to tell you. Okay. Ah. You're getting visitations from this person. So this is like a meeting, a garden. Maybe you're seeing them in a the garden. Or maybe they're around you when you're in your garden. Or um, out in public. You might be feeling them. Very strong energy here. This could be networking. You might even be feeling them online. Maybe if there's someone that used to contact you or you had like some kind of um, communication online, they might be, because this is networking. This is online. This is public place. Okay. So what else we have here? And it could be spirit. You know, spirit's talking to you. We have, ah. Oh. Whoever this is, they feel happy around you or you're happy with them. If it's a Passover loved one, it's someone that brought you a lot of joy. Or if it's a guide, it's someone that makes you happy when they're around. They're in your energy. Leo energy there. Okay, one more. Ooh, a magnifying glass. Okay, I would say that look close at the details. Someone might be trying to tell you something as far as giving you a message to say, pay attention here. Look very closely here. Look at the details. Don't miss anything. Let's take a, a second, third, fourth look. We have a master number 44 here too. Very important to pay attention to what's being shown to you or what you're hearing. Or if, if you're thinking about, is that, could that be so-and-so? It probably is. Ask for signs too. Okay, what you don't see here is something, a change of luck, taking a risk. There might be something coming your way that might be very lucky here. Maybe, maybe spirit is giving you a gift, a winning. I mean, you know, just buy one ticket. Because if you're meant to win, you're meant to win. You don't have to buy 50 tickets and lose a lot of money. If you're going to win, you're going to win. One ticket is fine. Okay. Now, let's see what the challenge is. This is someone saying they're around. You could be spirit. You could be getting more in contact with your guides or... It could be someone that has passed over here. Let's see here. We have here, page of wands, a communication. Might be a challenge to get a communication. Maybe someone is challenged to try to reach out to you, to talk to you, to get communication to you. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Let me go over there more. And then we have here temperance, Sagittarius energy. Here's your energy. Okay, bringing things into balance. Maybe it has been a challenge lately to feel more balanced, to feel, to um, be more patient, to be, feel more calm. And we have here the Knight of Cups. Someone coming towards you with love here. Um, this is Scorpio Cancer Pisces energy. You might be hearing from someone. Someone might be trying to reach out to you. Okay, let's get the charms here first. 
the page of wands a message communication ah see a lot of you i feel like maybe your guides or the angels are trying to reach out to you and you're not listening they want you to listen pay attention okay now for this knight of cups we have, look at this the angels are reaching out. Your guides are reaching out. There is spirit communication. Very strong here. Okay. Someone's trying to get a message to you. Okay, let's see about this Knight of Wands. Let's clarify that. Ten of Cups. Something to do with your home life, your family life, your love life here. Family. Something. Maybe it is a family connection that someone's trying to reach out to you. Okay, and the Temperance. The King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Okay, this might be a challenge for someone to bring um, balance in with you or trying you're trying to balance with someone else. And it might be, um, this could be a leader. This could be someone's very charming, very attractive. Let me get a charm on this King of Wands. We have here, oh... Fast communication. We have the horse. Something happened very quickly here. Expect something to happen. Someone might come in or someone might be so challenged they might rush in because they can't talk to you. Okay, let's see about this um, Knight of Cups. Four of Cups. A missed opportunity. You're not seeing someone. They're trying to get your attention. I keep on getting that. Someone is either spirit or someone in the third the 3d here is trying to get your attention but you're in your own world you're not paying attention you're not seeing them you're looking straight ahead and they're coming in trying to say hey look at me might have been a missed out maybe someone feels like they missed the opportunity with you or you feel like you missed out on the opportunity okay so now let's do the words the first one is the page of wands family see we have the ten of cups here family Blank. Okay, there's a blank here. Closure. Okay, something was left unsaid, undone. Blank. Someone wants closure. Someone wants to give you closure. Or this is also like a, a empty slate. Start fresh. Start new. A blank canvas with the family. Something to do with the family. Very interesting. Okay, now we're going to do this um, Knight of Cups. Oh, wait, am I missing one? The King of Wands, sorry. I don't know why I'm skipping over the King of Wands. There must have been something about that, but let me do the King of Wands. Alone. Forget. Mature. Hmm. Maybe when they're alone with someone or someone's alone, they they forgot to be mature they're immature i don't know this could be saying this is someone that forgets that someone's more mature than them or is older than them maybe okay what about this knight? i don't know why i wanted to jump to that knight of cups first maybe it actually belongs that way because i did that if you need to switch some switch so let's see sincere meeting Player. Ooh. Okay, so if you need to switch the King of Wands with the Knight of Cups, go ahead. Now, we have this, this, someone wants to have a meeting with you, and you might consider them a player, but they're being sincere. Or maybe they were a player, and maybe that's why you passed on the opportunity with them, because you consider them a player. Take it how it resonates, if it resonates with you. Okay, so now let's go on to see what happened in the past. What happened in the past here? We have the five of wands. Now look at these people. They're all dancing, but they're all doing their own thing. So this is maybe in the past, everybody was like doing their own thing that you weren't, you couldn't come together on something. Everybody had a, you know, they had their own opinion, their own ways of doing things. And that could be within the family. Maybe someone is reaching out to you saying, hey, you know, understand that maybe you guys, there's something that you have to fix with the family. But just realize everybody is unique. Everybody is different. Okay, now we have here the Page of Pentacles. The 
page of pentacles someone young someone coming in would offer or someone did offer you something but maybe they were you know calculating something here this they're writing something down they're trying to figure something out um counting their pennies i, I don't know i almost felt like this is the pen and a paper but i felt like it was like a calculator someone's trying to add up things or trying to figure things out and we have here the nine of wands okay this person is overextended is exhausted has tried everything in the past here maybe to make make things work and it wasn't working so it feels like they're running out of time there's something about a time um yeah, just running out of time, feeling they're losing losing something here. I want to say TikTok. Okay, let's see here about this um, page of pentacles. We have here a peacock. Ooh. So this could be someone that likes to show off or someone wants all the attention or someone that gets all the attention. Or it could be someone that, yes, yeah, very good looking, gets a lot of attention. Could be younger. Okay, now, let's clarify. What's up with the Five of Wands? To me, it just feels a lot of people in the family just doing their different things and, and doing their own thing and all almost like fighting for the spotlight. So we have here the Page of Wands. Someone's trying to get a message. May some, maybe you're all in a music um, family here, a musical family, or someone's doing their different things. This, these are like dancers. This is a musician here. Um, some kind of message coming through in the past. Okay, let's get a charm on the page of wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We have here the angel. Look at this. I tell you, there's a lot of spirits around you guys. Very strong spiritual guidance coming in. A message coming in from your guys, your angels. Okay, now about this... Um, yeah, the peacock. Okay, about this page of pentacles. Okay, we have here temperance wanted to come out again. Someone is, I think someone on the other side is trying to help you balance things out. And they tried in the past, or this maybe this page of pentacles tried in the past. Being patient here too. Sagittarius energy. And as far as this nine of wands being very protective, maybe boundaries put up here. We have here the six, yeah, there's definitely some kind of past connection here past life connection or uh, someone saying go back to your childhood what happened in your childhood maybe everything was thrown on you maybe you're the one who had to take on all the family responsibilities and you say i had enough you know this is six of cups this is um some kind of memories from the past so i think someone that has passed over is trying to connect with you trying to help you out here okay so we have here the page. Yeah, the page on wands. I want to make sure. How many do I have to? Oh, yeah. Got two here, dude. Okay. Right? Yeah, two. Okay, let's do the page of wands. Younger energies. Might be siblings. Younger siblings, maybe. Okay, we have here confused okay so this page of one or trying to get a message someone might be confusing maybe it was a confusing message maybe you did receive a message from spirit or a passover loved one and you're confused by it we have here committed revealed jealousy Ooh. so there might have been some sibling rivalry here maybe and maybe there's a message of someone being confused about someone being committed to something and reveal that they were jealous that they were. Okay, let's see. About this page of pentacles. Memories. Okay, that makes sense with the past life. Something coming in here. Memories. Healing. And that we do have tempers. Tempers is healing. And we have a phone call. Okay, again phone call can be some form of communication it couldn't be spirit trying to call you up from heaven there you know calling you up from the other side but it it's um someone's trying to heal something here something about memories healing something here now the phone call could be any kind of contact whether it's an actual phone call a text a email someone coming to your house someone reaching out to you or spirit communication in this sense i feel a lot of um, energy around someone here that spirit is trying to contact them okay now 
Let's see what's happening in the present. Very interesting reading. What is happening in the present? We have here the Page of Cups. I don't know. Are you working around a lot of children, maybe? It's like a lot of pages coming up. Or just young energy. Newer energy. Okay, in the present, you might have someone around you that wants to offer you their cup. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, but it could be any sign. It also could be an apology. Let's see. We have here. Oh, for draining your energy. Look at this. We have the vampire teeth. Someone might be coming in, or maybe they are someone that drains your energy. And maybe that's why you don't want to talk to them. It's like every time I'm around that so-and-so, I am exhausted. Because they might be draining your energy. Okay, let's see. We have here the Eight of Swords. Yes! Mentally conflicted in a prison here. Feeling trapped. And we have the Eight of Cups. Maybe, yeah, you might be thinking of moving away from someone here. That is maybe an energy vampire. They're draining you. They might be a younger energy. It might be so. It might be a younger sibling. You say, I can't handle this person anymore. It's like they they cause to, and then they always apologize, and it's like it doesn't mean anything because they're just going to do it again. Almost energy I'm feeling, because that's just what they like to do. Okay, so now let's clarify. Why is the page of cups here? Now this could be someone coming in with a love offer. They could be younger than you or acting maturely. Or, and you're like, I don't know. And you might say, I just want to walk away. The sun. But there's happiness here. Okay, Leo energy. There's happiness here. Or you might be getting clarity on the situation. It also could be some kind of warmth, some kind of passion coming in with this offer. Let's see about this um, eight of swords. Being mentally conflicted, stuck here in your mind. The high priestess. Ooh, okay. All right. This could be secrets. Someone keeping secrets and me saying, you know, I don't want to deal with you if you're keeping secrets. It also could be your intuition is speaking to you. You know, your intuition, spirit communication. Maybe someone is f really fighting, struggling to accept that their intuition is getting stronger. And that's the, that's the angels. That's the that's spirit guys talking to you. Someone might be saying, I can't, I don't want to do this. I don't, I don't like this. I don't like these voices in my head. You know, maybe something like that. But it might be spirit. Okay, let's see. Whoa, all these want to come out. I'm going to look at them. I'm not going to take them, though. We have here the Empress. Okay, Libra Taurus energy. This is, could be a mother figure. This could be um, someone's pregnant. This could be giving birth to something. And then we have the Magician manifesting something here. Seven of Pentacles, taking a second look, second chance. Um, maybe someone wants to return here. And then we have someone that was left out in the cold. Wheel of Fortune, Divine Timing. Someone does not want to let it go. Now, I'm going to put these back. And they might come up again. They might not. But they all fell out. There's too many that fell out. And that could be what you're trying to walk away from. Or someone, you might be walking away from... Maybe Spirit is trying to prevent you from walking away from a very prosperous opportunity here, too. So let's see. Why do we have the Eight of Cups here in the present? We have the Six of Pentacles. Okay, so now this means that either you're walking away from a situation that wasn't an even give and take, or you might be walking away from something that might end up being, you know, an even give and take. You'll know. I mean, either it is or it isn't. But there has to be a back and forth. There has to be exchange of energy. Otherwise, you get depleted. That's where the energy vampire come in. You could say, okay, I'm walking away from this page of cups. Because I give, give, give. They take, take, take. And if there's not an even exchange of an energy, you are going to be depleted of yours. Okay, so now let's see. What's happening in the future? Wait, I got to get words on words on this page of cups what's the word here we have cheater okay past married Ooh. so this could mean someone that was married in the past and cheated you could have been married to them 
or they could have cheated with you on whoever they were married to. But this is past energy. So maybe, yeah, they might have made you happy. Or maybe this was saying, hey, you've got clarity on the fact that they were married. Maybe you didn't know. Now, again, remember, this might be for you. It might not. Maybe this, this part here, maybe the words don't pertain to you. It is a general reading. Okay, let's see what's coming in for the future. What do we have here for future energy? We have here the Ten of Pentacles, commitment, or maybe a lot of money coming in towards you. We have here the Queen of Cups. Okay, this could be a very loving energy here coming in. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces could be anyone, but someone that is very loving, nurtured, and very intuitive. This could be a commitment with this person. It also could be referring to you doing what you love and actually getting compensated for it. Okay. And we have here the Seven of Wands fighting for something here. There might be some kind of, you might have to fight off someone, fight argument here. There might be some kind of um, fighting for something you want here. Let's do a charm on the Queen. Okay. We have the floor shears here. This could be someone that works in a florist. This could be someone that's cutting something out. Someone um, might be sending someone flowers. You might see flowers with this coming up. Okay, or someone, someone might have removed something that wasn't serving them. Okay, let's see about the Ten of Pentacles. Why is the Ten of Pentacles here? The Emperor. Ooh. Well, this could be that, yeah, there, you could be having a commitment with an Aries. This could be you being in control, in charge here, and getting paid a lot of money here. You could be getting a significant raise or, or maybe you're already in this position. What about this Queen of Cups? We have Justice. Oh, I love it. Okay, so Justice, Libra Energy, something, a contract. This could be a contract with someone that could be very lucrative for you to do what you want to do here. This can also be the truth come now, or if you go into court, it will be justice will be served, and something will be cut out here. And what about this um, seven of wands? We have here the world. Yeah, I would say if some of you are fighting for something in court, it's going to be completed here. You're going to be able to start a new chapter here. You're going to be able to end something here, and justice will be served. This might be taken to a higher level here with the emperor you might be coming into a lot of money if it's a divorce i would think that you're going to make out quite well the justice will be served there'll be an ending to something here something that you're fighting for and it's going to work out okay let's see about this queen of cups with the words on the queen of cups return want a part Okay, someone that you are apart from is returning. They want something. They probably want to return since you've been apart. That could be. You could rearrange these words. You know, whenever I put these words down, what comes to your head is your angels and guides talking to you. So pay attention. Um, you could even put a pad and write it down as soon as you see these words, what comes to mind. So that you don't forget. But there is justice coming in. Someone that you cut out wants to return. Okay, so now let's see. What's the important message for you? Ah, the high priestess. Yeah. It, pay attention to your intuition. Your, your third eye is open. Pay attention to whatever's coming in here. There might be secrets being revealed here something hidden we have here something to do with the knight of pentacles taurus virgo capricorn comes in very slow they do not move fast the knight of pentacles slowest moving night and you might be aware you might know that they're coming and we have here the page of swords they could be spying on you they could be watching you Spirit might be saying it's important to know that they are watching you. They're spying on you. This could also see how these like young people in uniforms. You could be going back to school learning something new too with this. Speaking your truth here. Um, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy. 
and um, this could be also with this high priestess in this here too it could be investigating looking into something this could be someone getting um, readings on you doing readings paint watching readings okay let's see let me get a charm on the knight of pentacles we have here oh the knight of pentacles might have a dog or a, a pet it could be a cat too we have a paw print something about a paw print so i would say that someone might have an animal here a pet okay now what about this um page of swords we have here oh we have the rhino so the page of swords might charge ahead there might be something that all of a sudden someone comes in like charging ahead charging charging in on you maybe okay now let's clarify this high priestess um this could also maybe be this person here is uh, very intuitive and is tapping into your energy let's see about the high priestess cancer virgo energy the wheel of fortune divine timing you might be really paying attention to your intuition and it might be telling you things telling you what what to expect what's coming on what's coming on what's going on <laughs> what's coming in okay and the knight of pentacles six of one a victory this knight of pentacles could also be trying to get your attention and maybe you're ignoring them what about this um page of swords the lovers oh you have a choice here gemini energy so someone wants someone might be watching you because they want to be in a connection with you or you might have a choice between the Page of Swords and the Knight of Pentacles, maybe. Maybe they're two different energies for you. Okay, so let's see here. Let's get something on this Knight of Pentacles. We have here Future, Finances, Love. Hmm. Okay, let me get a clarify on Finances. okay it's something to do with a house maybe something to do with when you purchase a house you'll find new love or there'll be a victory here with you finding a house and love in the future I, again you guys could rearrange this something to do with money for a house or something to do with investing in a house and finances and love in the future okay so now what about the page of swords we have here admitted marry expect okay so maybe this page of source is going to admit to you they expect to marry you maybe maybe not again rearrange it how it makes more sense to you that's the first thing i'm getting in mind for the most people i guess let's see here what is the advice for you guys we have the seven of cop cups you're gonna have options choices confusion you're gonna need to make a decision but you're not gonna know which to pick see uh, confused energy here okay that's coming in and someone's holding on holding tight someone might be holding secrets so whatever it is someone is keeping something very close to their chest here so whether that's you or someone else Someone might be holding on to you. You might be holding on to something. You might be keeping secrets. Someone else might be keeping secrets. Let's see. We have here, and this could be with a King of Swords. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy. Let's see what you don't see coming. Death. Okay, so there's a major change coming in. You don't see this. This is a transformation. Scorpio energy, major change, endings, rebirth. Something could be coming back around. But there is definitely a major change going on. Okay, now, let me get a charm on this King of Swords, who could be, this could also be, I have to say, this could also be someone that might be helping you too. Because his advice, you might be getting advice from a lawyer, a, a judge, or, you know, someone uh, in a, a 
official capacity here. Someone might be telling the truth. Someone might be under oath. Someone might be discussing something here, helping you out here. Or this telling you to get advice from someone. Let's see. Let's get a charm on this. Yeah, there's there's change. Definitely there's changes coming in for you. Big time. Major changes. Okay. Now let's clarify. The Seven of Cups. Why is the Seven of Cups here? The Tower. Ooh, what I first thing I got that make up your mind because if you stall on something, you know, like sometimes we drag our feet, then the universe will change things for you. You're definitely going through changes here. If you can, if you know what you really want, then go for it. Don't wait for someone else to do something for you or something else to happen because if you do wait, the tower will come in. And, you know, after the tower comes the star anyway, so it'll all work out in your favor. But you rather have more control over a situation if you can. And don't hold on to something that you know that's not good for you if this is you holding on here. Aries Scorpio energy with the tower. Let's see about this four of pentacles. What's up with this four of pentacles? The queen of cups. Okay, this might be someone holding on to a very loving, nurturing, caring energy. Um... Very strong intuition here with this person. Let me get a charm and clean the cups. And we have definitely communication. Look at this. We have the bird. This could be spirit communication, but there's some kind of communication. Could be coming in from a queen of cups here. And let's clarify this king of swords. Of course, the queen of cups could be your energy. We have your five of pentacles. Okay, so someone might be leaving someone out in the cold or someone was left out in the cold. What we do have here coming in for you is a major change for you. And this looks like this could be a major change could be finding out that you're pregnant or someone's pregnant. This can also be that you're coming in a time of a lot of prosperity here. Libra Taurus energy with the Empress. This is a very creative energy, giving birth to something new, whether it's a business, a job, a whole new you. It, you could just be transforming into a whole new person, totally different. And that's coming in. Now, let's get the word on this Queen of Cups. Career. Desire. Important. Okay, something, there's some kind of communication coming in for you. Something that you might desire as far as your career. Now, with this King of Swords and Five of Pentacles, this King of Swords, you could be cutting out this King of Swords, or you did, or they could have cut you out, or there might be some kind of loss here or feeling left out in the cold here. Let's see again on this King of Swords. We have Lover. Is it talk instigate so someone might be talking to instigate you maybe or try to try to get you um riled up it might be a lover here or someone that you were in love with before and they might there might be a question that is it or someone might be questioning about is someone your lover they might be wondering about something wanting the truth with the king of swords here too but remember if you know what you really want please do it do what you need to do because if you wait if you wait for the universe to take over it's gonna you're not gonna have control over it it's just gonna happen and you might not like the way it happens eventually it'll be okay but you might not like how it happens at first okay so now let's see what signs you could be dealing with now this could be placement in your chart placement in other people charts past present and future let's see what signs we have We have here Pisces. Cancer. Cancer. Sagittarius. Pisces. And Capricorn. Okay. 
So again, placement in your chart, placement other people's charts, past, present, and future. Pisces, Cancer, Cancer, Sagittarius, Pisces, and Capricorn. Now we'll do the letters. We're going to do 11 letters for initials. First name, last name. If you get both someone's initial for a first and last name, and they have a middle name, you know that middle name. You get that initial also, all the better. Past, present, and future, also your own initials. We have Z, K, Z, Z, wow, X, a, P, D, C, S, T. Okay, the letters we have for you today are Z, K, Z, Z, X, A, P, D, C, S, T. Now we'll do the names. We're going to do 11 or more names. Let's see what names want to come out. What are the names for you guys? Oops. Okay, we'll see how many we have here. We have Nacho. Vivian, Vivian, V-I-V-I-E-N-N-E. -N -N -E. um, Marianne with an E at the end. Nicola. Jose. Kylan, K-Y-L-E-N. Um, Harvey or George, J-O-R-G-E. Um, Samantha, Nelly, Latoya, L-O-T-O-Y-A, and Imad. There's exactly 11, E-M-A-D for Imad. Okay, guys, so... This is a general reading. It is not a personal reading. Please take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Please let me know if it resonates. Please leave comments. I'd love to read your comments. And if it does not resonate, you can always check out your other places. Say you watched your sun sign now. Check out your moon, your rising, your Venus sign. Something might give you a better picture or the missing link or the part of the puzzle that makes everything click together. Or it could give you just additional information on a circumstance here. There might be more that you need to know. And maybe if you check out your other places, you might find out something that just totally makes everything make sense. All right, guys. Thank you so much. I, I really appreciate all your love and all your... um. Just I really appreciate all your love and, the, and your support. I love you so much. I um, thank you for your likes, your shares, your subscribes, your comments, your super thanks. I appreciate it all. And I hope to see you all again real soon. Thank you.